Hi, let's take a look at updating a structure grid by incorporating horizon data from our geostering interpretations. This is a great feature from which you can add valuable data points to your grid and increase your confidence in it. A grid with more trustworthy data points will aid you when planning your next well. In our current project, as you can see, the existing grid called structure map does not match completely to the top of res horizon. I can check for both wells. Now I'm going to activate the TB8 well. And you can see there's a little bit of a discrepancy between the structure map and the top of my horizon. This can be either because of the proximity from type wells, it's too far away, or the lack of type wells or lack of seismic. But in this case, both of these steered wells, I have really high confidence in the correlation. You can see here on my vertical track, now activate the BT2 and we can check the correlation for those wells. With trust in these correlations, I will incorporate these horizon data points and update my grid. Let's dive into it. For step one, let's create control points from the interpreted horizons. We will go into polygons and create a new folder. This new folder, I will rename it Top Best Horizons. Now I'll go to my active well. I will expand my well and my interpretation, right click on Top Best Horizon and click two points and I have the option to incorporate the data that I want according to my displayed segments. I like the manual spacing of 250 feet. And now I have a new polygon called BT2, which is the name of the well, and top press horizons. I will move that into my polygon folder that I created. Now I will go and do that same thing for a TB8 well. Now it's active. I will expand it. Let's take a look only at TB8. Right click on top press horizon and select two points. I also like that spacing. Now I will move this polygon into my folder. Now let's integrate this new control points into the original grid. First, we have to create an outline for this existing grid. The way to do it is to select the grid, right click on it and choose to outline. Now I have a polygon that is just the outline of that structure map. Look at my map as I activate it. You can see that black dark line bounding my structure map. Now let's go into the mapping mode. Go to mode, modes, then mapping. And here on mapping mode is where I will input the data to update my grid. As input, I will choose the top of res horizon. This is the polygon folder where I put all the control points that I've created from my horizon. For outline, I will choose structure map outline, which is the one we created to bound our structure map. For grid, we will choose new since we need a new grid. Gridding size, I will leave it the way it is. And Starseer has different gridding algorithms, but I can leave it as auto and Starseer will decide which one to use. The last step before creating our grid is to checkmark trend so that our new grid follows the trend of the original grid that we're updating. Now we can hit run. We will see a dialog pop up. And once this is finished, we can see a new grid living here under the grid object tree. I will activate it to compare between the original grid and the new grid. Now I can adjust in the grid format my contour increment. Now my grid has the same contour interval as the previous one. Now let me turn on the polygon points that I used to incorporate into my map so that we can visualize them. This is for the active well and this is for the inactive well. These points have been incorporated into the map. Let's compare the maps. This is my new map and this is the original grid. Thank you so much for watching this video on updating your grid and on the next video we will create a well plan from a target line. See you soon!